Yeah, effective collaboration, it's one that through the project we had presumed that would be an easy approach for teachers. Um, through the project though that we realised that actually we need to put a bit of targeted time towards effective collaboration what that looks like. As an outcome, planning has become less time towards the task, has become a lot more effective and can be planned in a small amount of time through the collaborative approach. Uh, but just developing that confidence and capacity amongst um, teachers to be able to work together, trust each other, to give up a little bit, um, you know, and, and to be prepared to take on a little bit more from a different learning area has been exceptional. But for us, the collaborative approach has allowed teachers to approach all cohorts, complete cohorts of students for the learning sprints. So for our staff, the mindset is doing what's best for the students. So we're able to approach any change with a really positive attitude um, and being able to adapt uh, to what is in front of us, I think really, really well. So a big learning for us as leaders was definitely around, we just assumed that people would be able to uh, connect together uh, in an integrated approach, but probably uh, giving more time for the staff actually to meet and just be together has been a really big learning for us. Um, and that came out through student uh, and staff voice. Uh, the more staff could connect in a non-managerial role, <laughs> uh, the better they were at being able to connect together and that idea of a team uh, being the most important thing. Uh, the more together the staff are as a team, uh, then the better results we will be for the student in the classroom. Um, we've had quite a few new builds lately and there's a whole lot more new spaces in the school. Um, they're collaborative spaces. We're, we're working sometimes with the whole of your nine or just two classes. And as a teacher, there's nowhere to hide anymore. You don't just have your four walls and you have to work together. So adapt or die really. And um, that's the approach we've taken. It's not always perfect, but uh, like I've said the whole long way along with the learning sprints, um, you know, we just want small improvements each week, each fortnight, and I think that's what happens. And it also breaks down those silos too. Um, you're no longer in the environment where you're the expert of your chosen area. Um, you're working across different curriculum areas, and it's about trying to work within that collaboration, but also trying to foster that idea that you're working with others that are experts in different areas and trying to combine those skills where, as Tim said, you can't hide and you've got to learn to work in different areas with other people, which is really important too. Something else that helps us uh, respond to what our students' uh, student needs are is um, the fact that we team teach a lot of the time. So bouncing those ideas off, uh, off our colleagues, it's a different set of eyes on, on what we're um, doing in the classroom and yeah, just more time to get around the boys and, and um, talk to them about what their needs are. Coming up with strategies to implement our learning sprints, we, we're very lucky at the school that we've joined our um, year nines together at the same time and there's four classes on at the same time. So we collaborate as teachers quite often and you know, four minds are better than one. And when we got an idea, we tend to go with it for those, those two weeks, uh, the two week sprints. Um, and it's just, it's great to get ideas from other people rather than relying just solely on yourself the whole time. And a lot of us teach across connectors, so not just in STEM and that's what you teach. We teach STEM or kinesiology as well and, and we uh, get to have that conversation about sort of students of concern so we can have those individual programs set up for those students. I think that the big thing behind that is it's, it's okay to fail um, and that feedback is really good also teacher feedback in the moment too like you understand when a lesson or a situation hasn't gone according to plan and it's about being honest about it and it's not a professional stab at you but it's more of a how can we be better in this situation and work together and sometimes a different set of eyes within a classroom or space can provide that critical feedback which can make those slight changes more effective and more in the moment too.